Welcome to Fish and Dips. Another video today. I uh, don't have much battery. Couldn't find my charger, so I had to just plug it in. My camera go GoPro in directly. Um, so I only got one battery. It didn't fully charge, so I don't have much on record. That's why I didn't really go into the details today. But I got some squid and a shrimp on a high-low rig right now. Let's see if we can't find some rockfish. I left my net up there, but you know. pretty well right over here the other day. So hoping the same will happen today. Pyramid sink around here. Fish, fish. I'm out of the rocks. First cast of the day. Specifically, at least since I was, uh, I just finished, but I bled him and everything and killed him. And uh, as I'm going to take the hook, oh shit. So killed him and bled him and whatnot. And uh, adrenaline's going a little. But as soon as I uh, went to take the hook out, this little guy came right on out. I've been seeing tons of these little anchovies swimming around lately. And that right there is freshly eaten. That's bait, man. So, I was pretty stoked on that. Alright, well, so we got that guy on shrimp. So now, uh, but that anchovy he spit out, perfect. It looks like it's uh, pretty fresh. Probably just ate it, so I think we might as well uh, use that as bait. Slips. What the hell? I know I just broke off. What the fuck? That was weird. On the hook set, this braid must have just rubbed up against something because everything fell off. I could keep him, but we already got a decent one, so go ahead and put him back. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Vision Dips. So, like I was saying, when we were out there, right? Low battery, only had one battery with me that wasn't even fully charged. So, um, anyways, we came back though. I think I got a couple clips of some of the fish we got on camera. I know we got at least one. But we had a pretty solid day out there, nothing crazy, but let's go uh, go ahead and show you guys what we got. Alright, so we started the day off with this nice brown rockfish right here. This guy was pretty solid. Remember, I'm fishing off a jetty, I'm not fishing off of a uh, boat. So the fish tend to be, at least the rockfish, uh, tend to be a bit smaller to say the least. But nice brown, about a pound and uh, two, or pound and a half, pound and two quarters, whatever you want to call it. Then next, a little smaller. A decent black rockfish though. Black rockfish have been coming in a lot in the summer, which has been awesome. So not too bad. And last but not least, we got a nice solid bigger, bigger black rockfish. So these two highlights of the day. 
pretty pumped on that. But now, I thought I might as well go ahead and show you guys how the hell you fillet. But same thing now with the black rockfish. Go ahead, go in there. Go down along the spine. Don't need to go too far in. Nothing like that. Pull it down. Same thing on the other side. Sometimes hear that knife on the bones. It's always a good sound. That's what you want to hear. Perfect. All right. So now that you guys that side started, flip up that pectoral fin. So you can hold the mouth, the head, butthole, whatever you want to do. If you want to get a better grip, go down that head. And are angling down towards the anus. So you guys can't see on this side, but you'll see on the next one. Be real careful once you get down to that second half down the body though to not cut through the guts. Not just enough to open that stomach up. Like such, nothing punctured, juicing out yet, too much at least. Besides blood out of my own thumb. Here we go ahead now. And then same deal along that new incision that you made. Flex that knife all the way down. Put that hunk of meat over. Maybe a little farther with that. Then use that fish to already hold on to it. So in the event that it comes off like that, which does occur quite often, totally fine. Just want to cut a little bit of an incision there of uh, skin or of meat off the skin. Be careful not to catch yourself. Well, your goal is to have a handhold of sorts, but. So that knife will work there with that skin. Now, hypothetically, I should be able to use my finger just fine, or hands just fine, to get the rest of the meat off. You don't want to get rid of that rib cage and the old fatty part right there. You totally can, just cut along this through the end of the ribs. Go down, up and out. That, discard. Solid flay. Flip her over. Same deal. Flip up that pectoral. I should answer this way so you guys can see. God damn, I'm bleeding. Let's try doing that, huh? Different angle. Now, again, I'm kind of angling the fish out towards the anus as I cut down. Perfect. Cut open there, but you can see didn't really cut through the guts too bad. They might have punctured something, but it didn't look like anything's using out too bad. Take that knife long. Keep bending it and get that bend in that knife and say keep it alongside that spine just down to the end of the tail. Flop it over. Then you can just let that knife just slide on through. That's a nice solid flay right there. See this fish might look a little butcher, but we really pretty much got all the meat you can off that. Both sides. There's your organs. Again, if it's crab season. Uh, you can definitely use that, save that up for some bait. Okay, so I'm pan frying the rockfish in olive oil and it's burning and it's going to be a little bit soggy.